at the 2013 Portfolio Tasting for Profile Wine Group. And right now I have the pleasure to speak to Sabina and Lorenzo from Livio Sassetti. You are widely recognized as having some of the best Brunellos. Tell us a little bit about the production that you have for making our Brunello and about your philosophy in winemaking. You know, Sassetti uh, Livio is one of the, I mean, older estate that you can find in Montalcino. And we are, we are known I mean, to, to be keeping the same philosophy across, I mean, along the years. Uh, we have a small property, 32 acres, and we make organic farming, we make handmade harvest, and Lorenzo, who's the winemaker today, I mean, made the wine following the same rules of his father. So we try to be uh, very faithful with nature and uh, to follow the seasons, to take I mean maximum care of our product in the field and then in the winery. What about the aging process for Brunello and the optimum time to drink the Brunello? Okay, uh, there are different let's say ways of making Brunello in Montalcino. We are traditional, so we use the old recipe. That is, we age our wine in huge Slavonian oak barrels for 36 months. Well, actually. After the harvest and the first fermentation and vinification, we move the wine in tank for one year so that all the sediments can naturally fall down and we do not have to filter the wine. Then we move the wine in uh, oak for the aging for three years, move back in tank, we bottle the wine and the Brunello stays there for at least six months, which means five years before selling and before enjoying. But actually, uh, as soon as we release it, the wine, it's not surely the best moment to enjoy because the Brunello has a long aging potential and it's been in uh, oak for a long time. So ideally, you should enjoy a Brunello at least 10 years after it's released. That is, we are we released 2008 this year. We should, I mean, enjoy this wine in 10 years from now, so a very long time. 